and head coach Bear Davis, who joins us now to discuss, first off, the joy that you get in having that number one pick and knowing that there is a dynamic player that every team in this room would love to have. How excited are you to get a chance to coach Tommy Shriver? Well, I think, I think Tommy's very dynamic, and uh, as everyone knows, uh, but you know, more importantly, we, we want to really impress that unselfish style, and I think that uh, no question he plays that way, and uh, you know, he fits really well with our middies that we have now. We're excited to get that blend gone. I thought it was interesting. We spoke uh, last night, and you mentioned when talking about Shriver that he fits into what you want to do offensively, because when you were at Robert Morris, you took a system from Bates, who was at Drexel at that time, and is now his coach at Princeton. So there, there's a, a familiarity you feel like he'll have coming in. Yeah, he definitely, I think, will make, you know, he understands the reads and the, some of the things. And I think with them coming in after the season already starts, you want to look at that. You want to see how will this guy adjust in a quick, you know, quick manner. Coach, when you look forward, you know, I kind of printed out your, uh, like a two deep of, of, your, of your guys. What, what stands out, you believe, as the strength of this team, and what stands out as an area that you hope to improve? You know, Attack, middies, D. Our, our supplemental draft, uh, we really, that was an area we said we just need to become more balanced. And you'll see that, you know, some of the names you put, you know, on the paper here that, you know, we, we're a more balanced team. And, that, and I think that's good because that allows us now to come into the college draft and say, where can we get stronger now? And uh, that has been our goal. And, uh, you know, with, with getting a, a player like, uh, Rob Guida, you know, he's very dynamic, shifty, hard to cover, fits right in there. Uh, Cooper, uh, we picked up Cooper like in a trade. A lot. I, yeah, I, I think he was uh, on Chesapeake. He's just not going to get much playing time right. last year, and I think he's a real a, a real player in this league. I think Chesapeake's at that point where they're just so, you know, so deep that good players yeah. aren't going to play. Yeah. And uh, a, a guy like him, uh, when he played against us, we got a fresh, upfront, close look at him. You know, he scored three goals on us so we said yeah it's a good player for us yeah he can play attack or midfield that's what we like uh, too Chad about him Meemeyer, defensively you know Chad's a great on ball defenseman yeah. um, you know he developed last year and I think coach Mariano on our defensive side was real excited about what you know what's to come with him so yeah I mean for us it's uh we, we got to get better uh, at the short stick D mid position yeah. uh, that's an area uh, but you're probably not going to pick in the for the traditional parts in the first and 13th pick. Yeah, not in this draft, there were two guys that stood out yeah. to me, Laconi and Ryan Creighton. After that, it's kind of, you know. Yeah, and it's, it's a tougher. need. Yeah. I know some people are looking at our draft saying, hey, maybe Guida's not a high need, uh, but some of our high needs aren't guys you take at 13. You get a dynamic player like a yeah. Rob Guida yeah. at 13. Yeah. Bear, Love, thanks so much play. for joining us. Right. I know you got some more work to do. All right, some thanks, guys. Some yeah. Coming up, the rounds coming up.